It is being called a parade of planets, a rare celestial occurrence that starts this evening, allowing us to see things with the naked eye that we rarely see. It's also a big event in the world of zodiac signs. Paula Tubman shows us what all the buzz is about. The planets are aligned. That's a phrase we bandy about all the time. But what does it actually mean scientifically, astronomically, as well as astrologically? It's a big deal for both. Let's start with the basics. Meteorologist Ashley Barrissey makes it easy to understand what's happening in the sky. A rare five planet alignment of Jupiter, Mercury, Venus, Uranus and Mars will be visible in the western sky. And this is what it means astronomically. Michael Narlock, a professor of physics and astronomy and the head of astronomy at the Cranbrook Institute of Science. One of the things it tells us straight away is our understanding of the mechanics of how the solar system behaves. It's pretty darn good. And here's what it means when the planets align astrologically. Crystal Wilson is an astrologist and numerologist with Enchanted Divas in Detroit. These occurrences don't happen very often astrologically when the planets do that, especially five of them. So it's helping us internally and as a society realign. In terms of astronomy, the study of space and stars, this is a big deal. We'll be able to see a planet we rarely see. Uranus. It is such a distant planet, it's hard to get a glimpse of with a human eye, but we'll see it. And depending on if we're standing in a field with just our peepers, you're going to see some bright dots in the sky, or level up with binoculars, you will see more detail on Jupiter. You can see four of, of Jupiter's moons, or really level up with a telescope. On Mars, you might be able to see the polar ice caps. And astrologically, the study of movements and relative positions of celestial bodies and their influence on human affairs in the natural world. And astrology has a way of helping people better understand themselves and how to navigate life. There's a cosmic shift afoot. Fire signs, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius must expect change and expect it to be uncomfortable, but necessary for growth. Earth signs, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, you'll be forced to move away from practicality and lean into those emotions. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this event affects you the least, but you might feel a pull to honor your emotions and not be so hogtied to intelligence. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, this astronomical event is mammoth astrologically, so look to be more self-directed and less influenced by the influence of others. Right now, the way that the planets are aligning, there's gonna be a major focus on humanitarian pursuits, on what is for the greater good of humanity. Yeah, we need a little bit of that. Okay, major geek alert going on right here. This is what you're gonna look at. Look west into the sunset. Careful that sun is setting, it's bright. Don't look into the sun. Jupiter and Mercury, first thing on the horizon, they're gonna disappear fast. Then you get Venus, poof. Brightest thing in the sky, Uranus. Yes, that's the way you say that. Very distant, probably need binoculars to see that. And then you have Mars, it'll have a red hue. Even if you don't have binoculars, by the way, if you wanna go to see it with a telegraph, Karen, Cranbrook Institute, that great big old telescope, Friday nights, tell them what you wanna see. They'll point the telescope there so you can Man, see it for yourself. I Yay! Lo I love Let it. You, you dumbed it down for me. You explained it so well, so I appreciate it. Thank you, Paula. <laughs>